Now that you've downloaded some data and taken a quick look at it, now what we're going to want to do is share the data or export it and get it off the mobile device. So we're in our data file scene. You're going to go ahead and tap on one of the graphs. We'll tap on the top one. And this generates the larger graph. And now we want to share the data. And the share icon is the box with the arrow sticking out of it in the upper right. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And what it does is it now gives you a couple different ways uh, that you can share a data file, depending upon the format that you want. So we'll go ahead and select the CSV, but as you can see, you can also do an SLXS Excel file, a plain text file, or even a Hoboware file. So if you want to open this up within the desktop version of Hoboware and Hoboware Pro, you can take a look at your data that way as well. So we'll tap on the CSV it's going to generate the file and then it's going to give you a couple different options in terms of how and where you want to send the data so a lot of folks will want to mail it to themselves um, but you can also let's say push it off to Google Drive um, or we can open it up in numbers uh, Excel smart office so we'll just go ahead and click on numbers here real quick and it takes just a second here for it to import the data and once this has been imported you'll see it'll give you the date and time of the most recent file and so we'll go ahead and tap on that and it's going to open it up into the spreadsheet view essentially so now you can see all the individual readings We'll just go back uh, to the Hobo Mobile app. And for example, let's say you want to email this to yourself. So again, you'll regenerate that CSV file. We'll tap on the mail client here. And then you can go ahead and send this out to yourself. And off it goes. It's now sitting in my inbox. So very easily, you can, again, view your data and then share your data.